Good day everybody and welcome back to another episode of Starfield. Today we're going to go over a little, um, I'm not going to say an exploit, but I think really it's just a repeatable action that you can do. Um, and this can be done through uh, going to Neon. So first of all we're going to go from the key here over to Voli. Uh, when I find it, it's over here somewhere. Here we go. So we go to um, Voli and we go to Voli Alpha. And from here we're just going to land at Neon Core. Uh, now there are two separate methods to doing this. Number one, you can um, pickpocket somebody, uh, but in order to pickpocket you need the skill Theft. Um, which we currently don't have. I mean, we can unlock it, which I will be doing just to show you. Um, so we'll go ahead and just unlock that now. So what we're going to do is when we get here to um, Neon, we're going to go we're up by Reliant Medical. Uh, if you come here to uh, between Enhance and the Volai Hotel, there's a little alleyway that leads to Ebside. Now go down the alleyway into uh, Ebside here. Now for full transparency, I'm running this on PC. I'm not sure why it's not loaded. There we go. Um, I'm running this on PC. So we're going to go straight here. And we're going to go left. Down here. Now this is the way where you can come and get up top uh, without the theft skill. So first of all, you're going to come down here, go all the way up. Okay, you'll be onto this platform here. You keep going all the way up until you reach the top and you can see the green and the blue bin right in front of you. Go left and then you go up here as you can see, there is a vent that says Sioka Syndicate Hideout. Now, you're going to have to unlock it with a digipick. Not a problem. Uh, shouldn't be too hard to do. He says... Uh, where are we? Let's have a look at that one. No, we don't want that one. We're going to go... That one... And then we're going to go that one. And we're also then going to go that one. And that one. There we go. So that's now unlocked. So that will take you into uh, the depths here. Um, obviously put your flashlight on and Sarah's running into a wall for some reason. Good old bugs. Um, and that means that you can then come down this way uh, and you should be able to drop down here all the way down and it will bring you out to another vent area over here which will take you in to the syndicate area okay so that's one way of getting in without having to have the theft skill now, what we're going to do from here, so we're going to run up these stairs all the way to the right here. Go right, go right, all the way to the end. Turn right again into this corridor where you'll see a door on your left. So we're going to open up that door. Now we've got our stealth meter and what you're going to want to do is you're going to come over to this area. We have been detected for some reason, but that's fine. So we're going to close off that door. I think it's just this guy who's sleeping. He doesn't do anything. So you're then going to just take that maintenance shaft key. Take the ammo if you want to as well. Digipix. Replace the one you just had. Um, and there's a guy behind me. Look, he's not doing a single thing about it. Um, open up that door go back the way we came into the corridor here so you'll see this center pillar 
go to the right of that and there is a door here which is a maintenance shaft which is a key you just picked up so you can go into here and you'll have black market antiquities stolen artwork so you contraband you grab that okay so we are a little bit over encumbered but we won't worry about that now um, and then once you've done that you leave this area okay now I'm going to go out I'm not going to go out the way we came in I'm going to go out this way here um, now I haven't done this bit so let's see what happens here okay uh, because we're already inside I reckon we can open that door anyway okay so we've opened up the door now what you're really going to want to do let's just close that anyway okay now what you're actually going to want to do if you have the theft skill so if you have unlocked the theft skill here um, like I've just done you can come into um, this area in neon here look for Frankie's grab and go okay and when you're in Frankie's grab and go you're going to want to get behind this vendor here or this lady without her seeing you preferably says I'm detected look pickpocket her and you're looking for the syndicate key card okay I've got a 70% chance of doing it or grabbing it I'm going to grab it anyway oh I've been caught pickpocketing so 500 bounty has been added on me okay fair enough right but that pickpocketing and that key card will allow you to open up this door and go into this secret hideout here okay now once you have these key cards you don't need to get them again okay so you can basically leave uh, Ebside go back out to Bayou Plaza out here and once you've gone back out here you can come over to um, the trade authority uh, I've come out the wrong way but that's fine uh, where are we uh, come out the wrong way so it's up this way so here we go the trade authority look so depending on which way you come out of website you can come out up here um, down this way here look so there's plenty of exits just look around for the trade authority okay and come into trade authority here now I am running mods on PC the only mods that I am running is neutral LUTs star UI inventory and perk up so my vendors have more credits now the reason I did that is because I don't feel that vendors have enough credits okay so um, I just I, I thought well why not it's not really an exploit really um, it's just getting more credits from vendors because you really didn't have enough credits on them so come into him do some business with him come on right and then we can go in and we can sell um, I go to our miscellaneous here and we've got our black market antiquities our harvested organs and our stolen artwork so we're going to sell those sell those and sell those okay um, so that gives us a nice sort of 35,000 ish credits 30,000 credits and this is repeatable so once you've done this you can basically come out of here head over to everyone's favorite place to waste time in the soul system go to Venus now you do not need an outpost on Venus a lot of people are saying you need an outpost you don't all you have to do is land and just sleep in your ship for a few hours that's all you have to do to reset vendors you do not need an outpost if you want to store that contraband and then sell it at a later time then yes you would need an outpost okay um but we don't need that so let's just get up from our ship here I should have boarded rather than going to the cockpit 
Okay. So then you can either go and sleep in your bed or you can uh, sit in a chair. Two hours should be enough. Just do three just to be sure. And that should then reset all of the um, all of the uh, loot over at Neon. So rinse and repeat. So we go back to Neon here. Now this is a good way of getting credits. I would recommend getting on it before Bethesda decides that they want to patch it for some reason. But I don't see it as being an exploit. It's a vendor. It's a contraband. So I see it as normal gameplay. Okay. Um, so I don't see it as being an exploit here. I really just don't. Um, and it's a it's a good way of getting those credits. Okay. So we're going to go back to Frankie's Grab and Go. So we've got it right here, look. And we can go straight in because we left it open from last time. Okay. Let's get up on here. Go over here to the maintenance shaft key. And you see the antiquities don't respawn, but the contraband does. Okay? So it's a nice and quick way of doing it. You can come and grab that, get yourself some decent credits, um, back out and sell it again. Okay, guys? Well, look, I hope you guys enjoyed uh, this little tips and tricks for getting more credits it allows you to basically get a lot more credits early game shall we say um, without needing to uh, to grind it out um, so that people can do things like ships and, and all that sort of stuff okay um, so we're then going to go over to trade authority again And go back to this guy again. And you can see his credits have reset. We go down to miscellaneous. So my credits is 509234. Uh, let's grab that. That's 8,000. Okay. So I got, what, 16,000 from that. So it's not too bad and it's repeatable. Okay, guys? Well, I hope you guys enjoyed that. Please give a like and a subscribe if you enjoy the content on this channel. And I hope to see you in the next one. Have a good day, everyone.